So, but back back to original original uh, story. Yeah, you steered it off. Yeah, <laughs> we both got to steer it off. Well, we can go. We can, we can do this shit forever, my All right. So, so, so you so guys, hold on, Sticky, what do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you guys, you guys record back the fuck up. Jam Master J, I assume, is it a lot of the studio sessions? Every over, studio overlooking session. it. Yeah. Yeah. And this is this is a legend from Run DMC. Yeah, Jam Master J. When you guys finish, do you guys say? We got something on our hands, or uh, we're not sure. We knew it. You knew it. We knew it, nigga. Deliberately. Back the fuck up. <laughs> we knew we had this shit. <laughs> Niggas come fuck with us. In yeah. person, they can't fuck with us. And on wax, they can't fuck with us. On stage, they can't fuck with us. And we got Jam Master J, the whole Dev Jam, in back of us. Uh. So we feeling like, nigga, what? <laughs> and the hood. You know what I'm saying? And right. yeah, with, with the, and the whole Queen South Side, nigga, we couldn't. They, uh, nigga, let me tell you something, man. Every when we when we when we did the the Apollo, I I'll never forget this scene. We did the Apollo. We we left from my crib. I lived on Merrick Boulevard. There was at least twenty cars in front of my crib when we left. Nigga, by the time we hit the by the time we hit the bridge, I looked back, yo, cause everybody that was driving with us had hazard lights flashing. Right. That's how we used to drive. Yo, we must have had about a hundred cars, man. Oh. I couldn't believe that shit. I wish I had a video camera that shit. That's how the energy we was bringing from Queens. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was it was a movement. It was a phenomenon. MTV. MTV, and this was at the time where you needed MTV. Right. If you wanted to have a video popping. And they had the box back then, too. The box. Box. Yeah, we but, but, but the we box was more New York, right? Yeah, it was more New York. In, nationally, internationally, it was MTV. And MTV was fucking with y'all. Yeah, they was. Was Slam the first single or no? No. Throw your guns. Throw back your guns. the fuck up was the first snippet. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? We did the back the fuck up shit with Steve, Steve Carr, the director. That was his first hip hop video, I think. And um, yeah. he, he killed that shit. You know what I'm saying? We did the back the fuck up it. shit. Right. It was a black and white. It was sticky with the <laughs> busting bottles on the wall. You know what I'm saying? It was just very obscure. Very obscure. Yep. If that's the word you, you want. You put out. Go then with. you put out. Throw your guns. <laughs> <laughs> you put out. Throw your guns. Very Stupid. fucking crazy. But um, Three yeah. Guns did well, but Slam went through the roof. Listen, when when the album wasn't finished until we had Slam, like we listened. That was the last song. That we was did. the last song on the album, okay. right? So Jay is like, "Yo, man, we need we need we need something that's gonna hit radio because all this shit, like you saying, was kind of hard for the streets and shit." Yeah. Um. So Shy Skills came with the beat. He came with some happy ass beat, and I was like, "Yo, what the fuck is that shit happy, man?" If you listen to Slam beat Slam, it's like the color. I always think it's like red, orange. Like yeah. it's like it's like up there. It's not like blue and black. You know what I'm saying? It's Crazy. it's kind of like like you know what I'm saying to me. Slam the the color of the the beat is bright, colorful. We didn't like it. That nigga Jay was like, "This is it right here. This is it." So um, we just in the studio listening to that Seven shit. Seven days, maybe four. Yeah, it took a it took a while for for anything to even get laid. We just listening to the beat, go home. Next day, listen to the beat, go home. And then we came up with the whole slam concept first, watching a um, Nirvana video. Uh, Smells like Teen Spirit. Teen Spirit, yeah. You know what I'm everyone saying? was slam dancing. That shit was popping in the hood. Like that song, like. That was the biggest song in the world. Come on, when son. it came out, yeah, but niggas, Period. niggas was fucking with it. Yo, the hood was fucking with it. Mm, you know okay. what I'm saying? So. We watching that shit, I'm like, yo, what if we brought this energy to hip hop? And we in the crib like, what would you talking about? Hey, whatever. Start wild. We came up with the slam. And then it progressed into the, the melody. We came with the da da da. And then once we got the chorus, the rhymes was just, you know, it was just always being competitive, you know what I'm saying? Who could downhill from you know there. I mean? It was just mainly easy. Boom. What happened when Slam got released with the video and everything else like that? Everybody life changed. Okay. Quit the barbershop. Everybody life changed. <laughs> oh, so you were working in the barbershop up until this time? We, I wor we worked in the barbershop until- Throw Your Guns. Until we heard Throw Your Guns on the radio. Okay. The, fir when the, fir the first time I heard Throw Your Guns on the radio, we quit. Okay. It's like, yo, it's on, nigga. George, I quit! <laughs> it's on, my nigga. <laughs> fuck you, fuck you, you're cool. It's fuck on, my you. nigga. <laughs> <laughs> we, it's, it's on, because because by that time, we was already promotional doing, runs, doing, you know what I'm saying, on tour and out. shit. Brand Nubian was one of the first artists we went on tour with. We, was, so, we went across the fucking desert with them niggas. Well, but then you guys, because of, of Slam and the energy, you guys start fucking with the rock groups. Or did that come later? 
Nah, that, that was came a, with Slam. That that was yeah. a uh, Slam. You know the remix. Yeah, the rock. Yeah. We didn't want to do that. Yeah, that was so a Leo. Who was the remix with again? It was Biohazard. 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 Right. Leo Cohen. He came with that. Well, him and so was that off of Judgment Day or? The Judgment no, it was two. We, we did, did Slam two remix. With them. Slam remix and then Judgment Night. Judgment Night. Sorry. Off of that movie soundtrack. Yeah. Okay. And you guys start fucking with Biohazard, and now you guys are doing a whole different went, type. Went for platinum thing. to double platinum. Double platinum. Well, so they say. I th- <laughs> I'm thinking four, five, six. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But we gonna just keep that money. In our pocket. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? Yes, yeah, the major label game. Come on, B. It is what it is. 360 deals in '93. <laughs> Before there were 360 deals. <laughs> right. So you guys go double platinum, if not more. Right. <clears throat> Your whole life has changed at this point. You guys are on tour. I'm assuming all the fucking time. We was touring. And then the movies started to come in. We was, yo, Simultaneously. We was, we, was, we was touring crazy, man. Okay. Like, we was doing shows with Red Man. Um, a lot of shows with Red Man, you know what I'm saying? Ice-T was one of the first shows we did in New York at the Palladium was with Ice-T and I think... Um, we had fucking shit hanging from the ceiling. So who else and was nooses. at that show? Wait, you, you had nooses? Like, yeah, one of the first shows we used to hang, we, we had like this big like this big fucking like dummy and shit like and then we had like a Few noose a noose hanging around his neck like motherfuckers hanging and shit my man eat him up he had the big hood on with the big like like he was like the grim, grim reaper, reaper shit. and shit like 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 our shit was like a show you know what i'm saying we going yeah. we going like the man face the bull heads the timberland that, that boots. first show the audience was like you know what, what I'm saying? Walk away. We had the walk away outfits, like the jean jackets we was getting from walk away. Cause Jay, walk. Jay was 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 dibbling into the fashion business too with the walk away shit. Oh yeah, he was walk away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, we, yeah. we was, we was wearing yeah, all that yeah, shit. Yeah, that shit was it. hard, my nigga. Right. You know what I'm saying? And um, yeah. So we had we had our own look. We had our own style, our own lingo, the way our we spelled back the fuck. It was our own world. You know what I'm saying? Right. And I remember, I mean, I know this happened afterwards, but one of my favorite ever DJ Premier songs, and that's, you know, with DJ Premier, you really got to <laughs> look at a lot of shit. Uh-oh. Heads up. j Rude the Damager, Come Clean. Drop yeah. shit. Sampled you, right? No, Sun C. Oh, it wasn't? Okay. Sun my, my, my bad. But it was still oh, a, fact straight, up. Vlad. My bad. My bad. But it was definitely an Onyx sample. Yeah. It was definitely an Onyx sample. Yeah. And, and I heard Jay Rue was saying some shit about that sample. Like, we took all. I'm like, we took all the pop. Yo, I don't know. Man. Oh, y'all took the publishing for that? No, we definitely get publishing because every time it gets like, if you hear that song and it's like playing in like a commercial or something, they definitely come to us to get this shit cleared. So yeah, we we, we definitely a part of that record. Premier. So yo, don't you need Jay Rue? Oh no, we're, we're fine. You guys are good. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking with you, Rue. 